Welcome to everyone. Welcome to another virtual class. I am Ms. Svetlana Potovanaval and we're going to have the lesson together. Inventions have people to improve the way they live. Some people invent to make money, others make up something to satisfy their needs. Today, at the lesson, we will recognize the inventions in the pictures, to use the new words to complete the sentences, to identify the definite information in the text, to discuss about favorite useful gadgets, and to collect information about one of the greatest inventors. For the beginning, I would like you to look at the words that are necessary to be known. What are these inventions good for? So we see, we have a calculator that was invented in 1961 and it is good especially for making sums. The telephone invented in 1876 is making the connection between people and generations. 1911, the washing machine appeared that is so useful nowadays and every person needs to clean the cloths and the things unnecessary. In 1926, the TV was invented that is making us enjoying the free time. The computer appeared in 1981 and it is also very useful and nowadays widely used. In 1983, the mobile phones and the, or the cell phones appeared that nowadays is so popular between everyone. It is making the connection between family members and people that are more important. To go to continue to discuss about this, we need to learn and memorize some words. I would like you to look and to repeat after me. We have falcon. Schoen, lifesaver, colac de salvare, to warn, a avertiza, to invent, a inventa, to land, a aterriza, to notify, a enstienza, to sort, a sorta, loudspeaker, diffusor. So these are the words that we are going to use during our lesson. Now we have to practice the words in the next exercise where you have to complete the sentence with the suitable word. The words are falcon, land, lifesaver, loudspeaker, word and invent. Look at the sentences for a minute. And let's start to check. So we have, a woman was addressing the crowd through a loudspeaker. Tom spent all afternoon at the airport watching the airplanes land and take off. Trafalgar Square was used to be the site of the Royal Mews where hunting falcons were kept. William Higginbotham was the first American to invent a video game. Experts warn of big problems if the situation isn't resolved soon. Lifesaver course giving participants basic life-saving emergency technique. Look at the pictures that we have here. Do you know what are these things? Maybe you can just suppose. In the text we have to read today, we will find what these attractive um, unknown things and gadgets are used for. So, be attentive. <clears throat> Let's read the paragraphs and complete them with the correct sentence of the above. Let's talk about the inventions and gadgets that make our life better. I would like to speak about a new gadget called the smart brush that can clean your teeth in three seconds. Imagine in three seconds. So, 
The paragraph that it is referring to, this one, is the toothbrush even sprays out mouthwash to clean your tongue. Have you heard about the robotic falcon? Uh, it chases away real birds from the airport. These birds may sometimes be dangerous to planes when they are talking off and landing, so the robotic birds come to help. Where do we have? When they fly around the airport, the real birds are afraid of them and fly away. I will tell you about the math clock. There is one equation for the hour of the day and another for the minutes. So, to tell the time, you have to do the math first. For example, if the clock displays 8 plus 3 hours and 25 minus 3 minutes, that means it's 22 past 11. Let's go further. Sometimes trash and recycling aren't separated properly. To solve this problem, some researchers invented a smart trash bin called the beanie. What is the paragraph referring to it? Mm -hmm. it's, it has special sensor and cameras that help the bin sort trash and recycling. A lifesaver drone is programmed to fly above open waters and warn swimmers and surfers when a shark appears in the area. To do this, the drone will use its loudspeakers to notify a lifeguard. So now we will come back to our things we have seen before and in the text we have identified where we have heard about the leaf saver drone, smart brush, robotic bird, beanie, and muff clock. Let's try to match the words to the definitions. So we see that life saver drone is this one. Life saver drone helps save people in the sea when a shark appears in the area. Smart brush can clean your teeth and tongue in three seconds. This can help you keep your personal hygiene. Robotic bird is referring or is protecting the planes by the birds that are sometimes dangerous for planes. Beanie is a smart trash bin that separates trash and recycling, so this gadget puts the pla planet first. And the last one is the math clock. Displays math equation instead of actual time. This helps kids develop their math skills. Now we need to go further and we are going to scan the information and these modern gadgets and find five names for places where the new gadgets can be used and five compound nouns. Let's remember and complete. Then the things or the places where these gadgets we have just seen are used in mouthwash, airport, muff lessons, trash bin, and waters. If we are referring to five compound nouns, then we can mention smart brush, airport, life saver, lifeguard, and loudspeaker. Now it's time to check. Scan the text again and say which gadgets you think is the most useful using the expressions having here. I think, I don't think, in my opinion. I have given you a possible answer. In my opinion, the most useful gadget is the lifesaver drone, because it is very important to save people's lives. Now look at the spider gram with your favorite gadgets. Choose one 
you use more often and speak about it. If we're speaking about the gadgets, we can mention the tablet, the smart glasses, the computer, PlayStation, headphones, mobile phone, smartwatch, and printer. As for me, my favorite gadget is the tablet. I can take photos and record videos. I can type and read texts and play video games. I can also send photos, video games and information to my friends. Now, <clears throat> if we until now were discussing about modern inventions, that are so useful in our life now. Now I would like to introduce you a great inventor. For this, you need to complete the sentences with, a, with the correct form of the verbs in brackets. So if you're looking here, we are going to find some information about Thomas Edison. One of the greatest American inventors, Thomas Edison, was born in 1847. At age 10, he built a laboratory in his house. At the age 23, he made a telegraphic machine and sold it for much money. He was working day and night. He was sleeping very little. He invented fire alarms the battery, the photograph, and the light bulb. Edison died in 1931. He had 1,300 inventions at all. Now let's write about an inventor according to the plan here having. Inventor's name, year when he was born, name of invention, year of the invention, and use of the invention. So, I decided to speak about Guillermo Marconi. It's an Italian inventor and engineer. Guillermo Marconi was born in 1874 and died in 1937. Developed, demonstrated and marketed the first successful long-distance distance wireless telegraph and on December 12, 1901, he picked up a faint three-dot se sequence the Morse code letter S. His company's Marconi radios ended the isolation of ocean trade travel and saved hundreds of lives, including all of the surviving passengers from the sinking Titanic. I would like you to try to do the same, to think and to speak about another inventor. To sum up the activities we have done today, we have mentioned that we have recognized the inventions in the pictures, used the new words to complete the sentences, identified the definite information in the text, discussed about favorite useful gadgets, collected information about one of the greatest inventors. And now, at the end of the lesson, let me make a deal. We are going to use the new technology and gadgets only when we need to maintain the connection alive with the whole world. I wish you having a wonderful afternoon and see you next time.